Hey guys. So, this will be the weekly reading for Aquarius. I'm going to be a spiritualist. Soul. <laughs> Trolls. Insta famous. Staycation. Why do I feel like you guys are learning to enjoy your own company? That's what I feel like you guys are doing. Like, you guys could be kind of being like homebodies or you're just kind of living like a more like simplistic life or something like that. Like, you're just learning to like, you know, I don't know, like staying close to home, learning to enjoy the, like your own company and let's see. Yeah. Love bombing, viral. <laughs> Keep it 100. Huh. Can't even on the back of the deck. So, what about soul? What does that do with anything? Follower. Has somebody been watching you from a distance? Have you guys put a lot of hard work into something? Or you're just looking good right now? Or um there's good things happening for you you're upgrading in life i don't know and it's like someone here feels invisible to you or something they feel invisible to you um they feel like you're focused on other people or somebody else or something like that what is this while well, you guys are just over there healing and <laughs> focusing on yourself what who is trying to intentionally upset you Somebody is mad that you had a glow up or something like what about viral put on blast being publicly embarrassed personal business exposed exposing secrets called out tell me more point of view that what by Felicia someone's perspective has changed and somebody's leaving and they don't care <laughs> so what does that have to do with you yeah, I feel like you guys are just leveling up in life. It's almost like, is are there people seeing you for who you really are? Like, if somebody created a false image of you, it's almost like, did somebody lie about, like, I'm trying to think. If somebody lied on you or tried to create some type of false narrative about you, you are showing... You're, you're making this person look stupid because everybody can see or the word is getting a, around that shows that whatever they were saying about you isn't true. Because, like, you guys are leveling up in life. Yeah, and it's like making a comeback. Don't be a doormat. Fight back. What about that? A comeback. It's like you guys ratchet shook Shift that what? Somebody's coming back. Somebody's coming back that and not coming back in a good way either. They want like your attention or your validation or something here. Fishing for compliments for somebody they want to sleep with you. What is this? Can't believe what you heard. Caught off guard, guard unsettled by what? You guys are going to be caught off guard and unsettled by this person being so freaking thirsty and wanting your attention so bad. But why though? Why does this person want their attention so bad? Okay. Somebody is not doing well financially either. They're trying to figure out how to make ends meet again. What does this have to do with my collective though? Oh, is somebody coming in? Yeah. 
trying to make yourself look better. Things are not as they appear. Sugar coated truth. Yeah, somebody's coming in and putting off the front here. What I did wasn't wrong. Don't care what people think. I'm remorseful, bitch. You don't care. Salty. What are they salty about? They're salty that you re you're gonna reject them, or they're salty that you you're dismissive of them, or you're just acting like you're not interested in them. It's almost like somebody was feeding off of the fact that you did want them and that you did like give them attention. Because like if you guys do get a lot of attention and you guys are famous in some way, or you are in the public eye in some way, or something like that, I think it was really like maybe boosting somebody's ego that you you know were you know giving them your attention and your time and your effort. But now you're not giving it to them or something like that. And now they're in their feelings. Like, what is going on here? Make this clear, <laughs> please, spirit. Make this more clear. Yeah, so somebody feels invisible to you or something like that. They're watching you. What about follower? Sus, yeah. Someone is being shady. Something is being hidden. Sus suspicious, suspect, untrustworthy. Adulting. Okay. Salty. What? It's like literally somebody is mad at your maturity or how responsible you are. Why are they jealous? Are they jealous of this? Like, why are they jealous? Yeah, they want what you have. Oh my God. Somebody wants to be you. Somebody wants your life. Okay, so they feel like their life is basic and it's just un like unexciting. Like they feel like you live this exciting life and you get a lot of attention and you just, you, you live this uh, luxurious life and okay. So <laughs> what is sus? Be careful about what are they doing that suspect? Yeah. Coming and being real extra. Yeah. Over the top, trying too hard, completely unnecessary, excessive, dramatic, out of place. What do they want from you? What do they want from you? Because I don't like this. What do they want from you? What do they want from you? It's like they want to change your direction. What do they want from you? Uh, see, they want... This is looking like a love interest, of course. This is looking at somebody, looking like somebody that plays games. They like to keep their options open. They're non-committal. They don't like putting in effort. So why... Okay, so what do they want from you? They want you to accept their breadcrumbs. What about that? They just feel like since the relationship ended, you've been blessed and luck has been on your side. And some said this person's pissed because things ended or you walked away from them or they walked away from you and things have not been good for them. And they just see you leveling up in life. I feel like it's making somebody feel like they were the problem. Who had a reading like this? Sag? Sag had a reading like this? Lord, I don't like this. What do they want from you? They want your life or what do they want from you? It's like they want you to make them feel better about themselves. I think this person... Also wants to change your perspective about them. Does that make sense, guys? Like, if you guys no longer see them the way that you used to, and that's why you guys are not giving this person the time of day anymore, I think that they want to change your perception of them. They want you to start looking at them the way that you used to before. You guys woke up to something that this person wasn't worth trying for anymore, that they were just breadcrumbing you, that they were, it just wasn't worth, it was, it was, they weren't worth it. Yeah, you guys found some type of, yeah, so you guys found evidence and it caught you off guard. Tell me more. You could have found out that somebody was, yeah, like dating other people or sleeping with other people. Yeah, something like that. Tell me what's going to do with my collective receipts and shook. Why are they in their feelings? What are they in their feelings about ratchet? What about ratchet? Clap back. Making a comeback. Some of you guys told them about themselves. Okay, this person's mad because you're not putting up with this shitty behavior of theirs anymore. Like, yeah, you don't just listen to what they have to say. Like, maybe you used to just like take. Yeah, this person used to like play you for a fool or they you guys used to trust them or something like that. Now you don't trust them at all. This person's mad because they don't like that you don't trust them anymore. And because you don't trust them, you're not they're not able to get over on you anymore. They're not able to like get away with the bare minimum anymore or something like that like breadcrumbing you yeah canceled yeah you're yeah not interested rejection rejecting someone or an idea dismissing someone or a situation this person yeah th th you're sick of them trying to finesse you yeah take yeah they're a taker what about millennial gas you guys could have been encouraging this person to 
like break out of some type of bad habits or like some some type of toxic way that they were raised or something like that but or for some of you they're going to tell you that they're single or is this person going to try to convince you that you're the only one that's what i feel like they're going to try to like convince you persuade you that you're the only one that they're dealing with or that they're changing and they're they're becoming more independent and stuff like that i don't think that's the case what about yeah you can't trust this person they're still no nope, they haven't changed they're still stuck in that outdated way of thinking and closed-minded and resisting change so someone's gonna try to come in what about turnt struggle is real that what bye felicia what is this term energy shaking my head shaking my head no words can do it just they did something stupid for you some of you they they slept with somebody or they did something dumb here that they they regret now. Maybe they make some money, Lord. Uh, bougie. What's this what's the bougie thing? Throw shade. Being rude towards someone. What does this have to do with tart? Point of view. Try a different approach. Change your outlook, opinions, point of view, perspective. Yes to what? Spirit says, say yes to dating here. Re mingling, meeting new people. Yeah, what is... <sighs> mm, so this person doesn't want you sleeping with anybody else or dating anybody else, but it's okay for them to date and to party and to do drugs and to sleep around and stuff like that. Yeah, they, they're just, they're a hypocrite. They think that they can put you on hold when they want to. Go act crazy, do whatever they want for a little bit, then come back to you. It's like they know that losing you completely would be a big loss. This is crazy. I was like, what is even going on here? So they may try to do something to get a reaction out of you. What are they going to do here with this trying to get a reaction, trying to upset thing? What is this? Petty. Intentionally upsetting you, trying to get a reaction. What is that? Receipts and blessed. Okay. There's something they're going to do on social media. It, somebody is sad that you blocked them. I'm telling you, somebody is sad that you blocked them or you, whatever, you disconnected from them on social media. You deleted your profile, whatever. You, you're not posting as much. So, something something that happened got around here. Message getting getting around quickly, becoming instantly famous, popular. Network, lucky break, something juicy, hidden, disclosing information. What's getting around? That somebody struggling? Hitting a rough patch in life, frustrating situation, not easy, trying time, setback, annoying. What's that do with my collective, though? You're not. You're, this is somebody else. They could have even told somebody that you were struggling or something like that. What? I don't understand, but you actually are living your best life. So I don't understand. It's almost like if they tried to say you were broke or something like that. Yeah, it's almost like they can, um, did this person lie on them? That's what I'm trying to see. Like, did they say something that wasn't true? Yeah. Yeah, they like, they were talking shit about you. Who, who are they talking shit to? Who are they telling, talking shit to? Somebody that they was sleeping with? What the hell? What is this? Finessing. Humble brag. Don't be so obvious. Read between the lines. Self-promoting to guys brag. All right. What's this have to do with my collective? They're watched, liking someone or something a lot. Unhealthy character traits. Stalker fan. Obsessed. Lying. See, they're lying about something. I'm telling you, I don't know if this person tried to, to make it seem like you were obsessed with them and you were chasing them and... It's almost like they projected everything that was going on that they are and what was going on in their life onto you. And but like you are showing the world, like or whoever, you're showing everybody that that's not true. But just you living your life. I don't know. It's so weird. What is this? Why was this person mad? Because you left them. You stopped talking to them. Mm -hmm. They could be. They could have been lying to their friends. Yeah. They don't want their friends or their their people that are around them to know that they're a, that they're a simp for you. Yeah, that willing to do anything to win you over. Nice guy, girl syndrome, a fool, begging, groveling. This person is trying to maintain some type of reputation here. I don't know if they could have even told, oh, they walked away from me. Oh, they're broke. They're going through a hard time. They're struggling financially. 
they they did this this and that they even maybe said that you slept around a lot i'm not even gonna, i'm not lying y'all like this is crazy that you party too much you 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 do drugs alcohol you sleep around whatever you ghosted them and i feel like they were telling people like they told their friends or the people around them this why did they but they did this to be petty why did they do this they were mad that you walked away from them what did they why did they do this they're, it's really out of jealousy, guys, because it doesn't have to be a romantic partner, but it's looking like it. It's almost like they were also trying to say that, like, you weren't really, like, you really weren't as well off as you were portraying yourself to be or something like that. What? Yeah, what they're saying is not true. Becoming someone you're not. Lies, bullshit, faking. Somebody was lying about their, see, yes, I don't know, sipping tea. There's gossip here. Somebody could have even been telling them that you weren't that you lied about your money or something like that. That you you don't have the money that. So where'd they get the money from then? What did they get? Where'd they get the money from if they didn't? Where'd this money come from? How do they have? Uh, what? Is, flexing all about themselves, selfish traits, pride, flashy arrogance, and sincere boasting. If if you didn't make this money for yourself, where did this money come from or this lifestyle that you live? If you didn't build it for yourself. Where did it come from? I'm confused. There's gossip here. What were they saying about the collective and the, the way that they make money? Ghosted. Ratchet. Okay. Mood. What's it with? Savage. What about savage? Blow up. Huh. I don't know. Somebody told a lie here, guys. A click of friends. They don't want their friends to know. Or their family, whoever. What about click? See? They believe in the relationship. Believe in you will stay together. Ready for the partnership. What does that do with their squad of people? See? They have shitty ass people around them. Trash. A low class person. Not worth trying. Nonsense. Poor quality. Somebody. They could have people telling them that you were poor. Who is poor quality here? Vibe. A sense about something. Listen to your intuition. Intuition. Feeling. Aura. Okay, that what? That somebody's trying to finesse you. But what about these squad of people? Digital detox. Okay, boomer. Okay, the texter. It's like they're going to tell you that they left some people behind, but I don't think that that's the case. Like there were some people. Mm, I mean, for some of you, I do feel like they're trying to come in and persuade you that they've changed or that trying to make themselves look better than they actually are but i think that they feel like you're a good person to have around them or something like that they know they have other responsibilities that they need to take care of before they even try to have anything with you that's why this person's going to end up putting you on hold again they see the potential in this they want to keep you waiting but there's something about there's people around them Ooh, what is this this is interesting y'all who lied that's what i want to know who lied? You've been lied on. Or the, so they've been lied to about you or about the, about something here. What was the lie? Oh, this reading got messy. That somebody was broken up with somebody or that something was over or something like that. Or why things ended. Yeah, it's something like that. What was the lie? The Nine of Cups. The ten of, ten, ten of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles in reverse. The Five of Pentacles in reverse. Ooh, what is this? Clarify the Nine of Cups in reverse. The Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles. The Chariot. Clarify the Six of Pentacles in reverse. The Three of Wands. They, it's like... Five of Pentacles in reverse. The Seven of Wands. Okay. It's it's kind of confusing, guys. But it's like, what? see, what action did my collective take when it came to this person? Did they walk away from this person? You rejected them or you made them feel unloved or something like that? Talk about the Three of Cups. But yeah, instead of reconciling with them, you maybe chose to be single or something like that. Straight. Yeah, you had enough strength to, like, 
to take a leap of faith and go in a different direction or have a new beginning or something like that. And I feel like this person is salty. Like they're salty because you did this. Yeah, this emperor or this the divine, I don't even want to say divine, but this masculine energy. Yeah, what do we have here? We have Cancer, we have Gem we have uh Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, we have Aries, we have that's pretty much it right now. Aquarius, Leo, Pisces. Yeah, I think you guys let them go. Yeah, you let them go because they were causing too much conflict. They were refusing to change. They were being deceptive and cheating. And yeah, they couldn't take, they could they didn't want to take a chance on this or something like that. So I feel like you guys decided to let them go and that made them feel rejected and unloved. So I think that in the spur of the moment or whatever, when you did this, they didn't want, it's like they lied to the people around them about this. They could have told them that everything, all the things that they were doing, you that you did those things to them or something like that. They maybe even told these people that they just didn't want to be with you. That you didn't, you weren't happy. They weren't happy with you or something like that. They could have said you were selfish or you were like um, materialistic or something like that. You like maybe you weren't somebody that they wanted to get involved with. When all along, they actually wanted to move forward with you into a commitment or something like that. But they it's like they were resisting giving to this and keeping you waiting. And there was a lot of delays. And I feel like they want to recover this. But it's like, it's almost like someone's trying to protect their their reputation or something like that. Because they weren't honest. But all, at the same time, I feel like it's very clear to see, like, that the things that they were saying about you weren't true. Like, I don't, I'm trying to get a clear read on this but huh this is interesting let's get a few more tell me more about the lies the lies this person they did what did, what were they dishonest about the lies what did they lie about spirit i will fight for us Ego and facade in the way. See, they want to fight for you, but their ego and their the, them hide. Their where this ego is the problem. I'm secretly plotting against you. They hate you and it's jealousy. This keeps coming out. What about I'm secretly? Somebody wants what you have. See, I haven't changed. I'm just lying to get what I want. Who hates you and it's jealousy? Friends with benefits. So, see, somebody that they were friends with benefits with hates you and it's jealousy and it's possibly possibly secretly plotting against you. So what does that do with this connection? I have money, but I'm still lonely. Infidelity. They cheated. Bad timing. Poor or player, Lord. So what does that do with my collective, though? They maybe even said that you cheated on them or that you were sleeping around or something like that. They could have said something about, oh, it just was the wrong time. But yeah, no, they have more money than you. You deserve love. Secret baby or child, Lord. I can't, I can't. What about secret baby or child? Happily ever after. I wish, guys, I don't understand. Soulmate. Sexually addicted. They have a sex, yeah, they need to heal. They have a sex addiction for some of you, but. What is the lie? What is the freaking lie? What is the lie? Can't talk, I'll reach out soon. What's the lie? Pass. I don't know, y'all. This is weird. Karmic. I hide secrets. I want someone else to explore other options. I was not good enough for you. They maybe thought, for some of you, they were lying that, you know, they had a, a there was a, somebody that they thought maybe they had a, got pregnant or that was a kid that it, it turned out to not be theirs or they had to determine if a kid was theirs or not. This is a, this is an interesting reading. Hmm. I'm trying to think about how to wrap this one up before I take it over to the extended reading because it just got so freaking messy. Let's do a few of these and then I am going to take it over to the extended reading. It's like somebody got mad that you walked away. You were sick of going around in circles with this person and never going anywhere.
We have healing, okay? Reevaluating needs, self-care, self-love moving forward. And I think that's what you guys did. You reevaluate reevaluated your needs. You felt like this person wasn't meeting your needs or incapable of doing so. And I think you guys decided to move forward. Tell me more. Because you felt like somebody was taking you for granted. Unequal give and take. Yes, not feeling appreciated. So now what? About, guys, you you just put the, the, your foot down with them. You you started, you've been healing, you've been practicing self-care, self-love, moving on. Because you just were sick of being taken for granted by this person. No more enabling, feeling used, setting healthy boundaries, and cut through. Emotional, mental clarity, secrets come to light, breakthrough. That what? What's the breakthrough about? Forever changed. A new self, lasting changes. I love that transform. Addiction. Yeah, I'm telling you, you guys found out about this person having some type of destructive behavior, bad habits, addicted to sex, drinking, etc. Tell you more. Mixed feelings, indecisive. Love and love, love and grow. Love that grows with time. Okay. Separation. Something's changing now that you guys have been in separation. But what is the that aspect of them? This first love. You have no one compares to you. First true love, new love experiences. This could be one of those people that goes to the next person and they're like, yeah, my ex was crazy and yeah, my ex cheated on me and my ex did this and my ex did that. Wrong lies. I don't know. Yep, fake. Fake love messages, not a real love connection. What about plastic? Finality. Some type of surface level connection that has no love in it is coming to an end. So what does that do with you? Against somebody doesn't want to hurt you anymore or something like that. Protecting connection against time. Rushing before it's too late. Took a long time. Walking on thin ice. Opposites. Differences creating barrier. Love and strive. Love versus ego. Somebody knows that they can't stand their ego. They can't stay in this ego and keep acting like they don't care and they don't have feelings and that they're over you and that you were the problem with for much longer. Because deep down, they know what they really, they want something stable and committed with you. Their ego has been keep, commit, keeping them from doing this because they're mad at you. They're mad that you let them go or that maybe you told them that you could find somebody better or that you did try to find somebody better or something like that. Paralyzed by love, holding back, fear of falling in love. Why are they angry at the collective? Mental prison. What are they? They're angry at you for things that they don't even have proof that you've done. I think they're mad because they think that you've met somebody new and you're letting them go. But they also have been holding back from you. Or they're mad because you are holding back from them and they're stuck up in their head. They don't know what to do. Cleaning up life, making healthy choices, cutting out negativity. Trapped in an unpleasant situation, feeling stuck, cannot escape from it. So twin flame, of course. This could be a twin flame connection. Bad intentions. Yeah, I feel like somebody's going to try to do something to string you along. Why are they just not doing what they need to do? That's what I don't understand. Why are they just not doing what they need to do? Yeah, love offer. But why are they not doing what they need to do for this to come together correctly? Why are they still trying to string you along instead of cutting off? Oh, because I'm sick of this, guys. Either they got to get a divorce or they know that leaving this other situation is very complicated and they know that it's going to cost them. Yeah, it's going to leave them in a bad financial place. Yeah, of course. But there's true love in a situation. Tell you what, true love. Secrets. They're hiding this. They know where the true love lies. But I feel like they just they they're they're still hesitating leaving another situation. So what's gonna happen? Are they gonna heartbreak? I don't know, guys. I just see them not able to move on from you. I see them sad and crying and grieving over you and watching you. So yeah, bad timing, waiting for the right time. They feel like maybe right now is not the right time to do something because they lied about something. I'm telling you, what did they lie about? Habitual liar? See, playing the field, refusing to commit, grass is greener. Lies exposed, can't hide in lies anymore. What What can't they, what lie can't they hide anymore? What about new cycle? Dating. Yeah, gossip. What's the gossip? Revenge body, looking your best, focusing on yourself, punishing the ex. I'm telling you guys, I don't know if this person told people you had moved on, you started dating somebody else, like you were a player or something like that. Somebody was trying to tell, they told their friends and their family that you were the one refusing to commit to them or you were the one that was playing the field or something like that. And, and that you were the broke one or something like that. Like, what the hell? Yep. What did they, give me a few more on what they lied about. What did they lie about? 
I don't know, but they're regretful for lying. Yeah, that you were the hot and cold one. You were the one being inconsistent. What about, what did they lie about? Ghosting. They could have said you kind of just ghosted them or something like that. You had options. Wow. I don't know. Like, this person did not tell the truth. So why are they so worried about them, their lies being exposed? Love activation. Why are they worried about their lies being exposed? Maya Rock. If this person lied on you guys and you guys found out that they were broke and that they were a player and that they were dating other people and they were gossiping about you and all this shit, they try to do something to punish you. I think they're worried about you finding out about all these lies that they told because they don't know what to do because they, they are now starting to realize that they are in love with you. They're having a, and that they want something, some type of stability with you and they want something solid with you. But they also know that they didn't told these freaking lies and they, they know that their lies are going to get exposed, especially if they were, they, they were over there lying to their friends and family about you. And then they get back together with you. And then it's, it's they're They've gotten themselves into a pickle right because they they maybe have given the people around them a false perception of you but i also see that those people around them don't or possibly don't want the two of you together maybe because of the things that they've said or other reasons there could, it could be because we have that card that says they hate you and it's jealousy oh this is messy so oh this is messy so